Hi everyone, and welcome to Everything DIY, the channel that's dedicated to helping you do it yourself and save some money in the process. Um, my name's Allie, and today I'm going to help you change your bricks. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, I'm going to introduce you to the tools we're going to be using today for this project. So we have a Craftsman ratchet, 12 millimeter socket, some standard brake cleaner, our C-clamp, which is optional, but we'll explain later. I have, of course, brakes, some brake grease, tire iron, which is very important for this project, and the jack that came with the car. First, we have some safety precautions. Very important, we need to make sure that the car is in park and that the security brake is on. Followed by placing a piece of wood behind the tires. Now that everything's secure, it's time to lift the car. We get our jack in place. Make sure it's hooked in securely. Now it's time to take off the tire. So if you have a tire lock, key is a good place to start. Go ahead and put it in there. We'll go ahead and start twisting these off. Now that we have all of the bolts off, we're going to go ahead and lift the tire and put it off to the side for now. So changing your brakes is actually pretty basic. We have three pieces of metal, the rotor, the pads, and the caliper. So today we're going to be changing the brake pads, which are held into place by two bolts in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off. Then we have the one on the bottom. So now that both the bolts are off, we're going to go ahead and take off the caliper. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here, get it out of the way. Make sure you have it in a good spot so it won't fall. Next I'm going to take off the brake pads. And here we have the new ones. So you can tell, mine are pretty run down. I have no meat left on that pad. This is what a new one looks like. You can tell by putting them side by side the difference. So now we're going to go ahead and clean the brakes. We're going to put some plastic down to catch any drippings. Grab your brake cleaner and you're going to spray anything that the brake touches basically. So we're just going to clean off the brake dust and everything else that's on here. And we're going to grab the caliper and we're going to go ahead and clean the piston. Now once everything's dry, you're going to grab one of your old brake pads and you need to get this piston back in its original place because as these brakes wear down the piston's going to push out to make up for the lack of meat on your brakes so we need to go ahead and push that in. I'm going to go ahead and put our brake back and I'm going to use a C-clamp here to push it back into place it's secure, just start pushing it back in. You can see it slowly start to move back into its spot. 
Okay, once it's back in its spot, go ahead and loosen it up. Take away the clamp. And we're going to put our brake pad down. And you can see that it's all the way pushed in. So now we're going to go ahead and prep our brakes for the installation. So we're going to grab our brakes and our grease. And what we're going to do is we're going to grease every part of the brake that touches the caliper, including these little shims here, which are the metal pieces on the sides, around the corners, around the corners, and we should be good. Now we're doing this in order to reduce noise from the brakes. So I'm going to go ahead and open this real quick. Come on there. I'm going to rub it in. Just make sure it's all covered. Grab a little more. On your finger. And we're going to grease the edges here. like that. Put a little more on this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. We'll put this one down. Okay. Grab your grease. Alright, so go ahead and wipe off the grease that you just worked with. We don't want to get those on the brake pads themselves. It's somewhat dangerous for your brakes. So we're going to go ahead and put the front one on first. These little slots here. I'm going to put that in like that. Make sure it's secure. And we're going to go ahead and install the second one in the back. So now it's time to go ahead and replace the caliper. Make sure that the backings match up because that's where we need to put our bolts again. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in. Make sure it matches. And then we need to put the one on the bottom in as well. So now we're going to use our ratchet again and we're going to go ahead and tighten them. As tight as you can do it, it's just fine. And down to the bottom. Oops. Again, make it as tight as you can. So now you're done changing the brakes on this side. So we're going to go ahead and put our tire back on and get started on the other side. So once you've finished with the other side and you're all cleaned up, you're going to want to do one more step and that's pump the brakes until they're firm to the touch. So you're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so they started to stiffen. I can fill it with my foot now. And that means that you're all done with your brake change. So. If you like our videos, please comment below and tell us what you think, and then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks YouTube, we'll see you soon.